please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government on MEC scholarships 2019. There are two mathematics exams, one for social sciences mathematics A and another for natural sciences mathematics B. This problem is from the 2019 mathematics B questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Problem 2 of 1. For the three points O00, A30, and B34 on the XY plane, the equation of the angle bisector of angle AOB is Y equals blank X. Let us recall that the angle bisector of an angle is the line that divides the angle into two equal angles. And also let us recall the tangent sum angle formula. It is the tangent of theta, theta sub 1 plus theta sub 2 is equal to the tangent of theta sub 1 plus the tangent of theta sub 2 all over 1 minus the product of tangent theta sub 1 times tangent theta sub 2. Let us first draw the given. In the problem, we are given the coordinates of O, which is 0, 0, A, which is 3, 0, and B, which is 3, 4. And we are told that we are looking for the angle bisector of A, O, B. Suppose that that angle is called theta. We are therefore looking for this red line where the angle that it makes with a positive x-axis is one-half of theta, theta over 2. Now, we also notice that A, O, B also forms a right triangle, so we indicate that with this square here. Now first, let us find the equation of the red line. The problem also gives the equation of the red line, which is y equals blank x. Let us call the blank m. This is the slope of the red line. Conveniently, the slope of any line is equal to the tangent of the angle that it makes with a positive x-axis. In this case, the red line makes an angle of theta over 2 with a positive x-axis, and therefore m must be the tangent of theta over 2. We also note that m is positive because this red line is increasing. Otherwise, it would be in the opposite direction. Now, we just need to find the tangent of theta over 2. What we know is the tangent of theta because the tangent of theta is just this length over this length. And so we can compute that from the given that is simply AB over OA. And AB here is 4, so we have 4. And OA is 3, so we know that the tangent of theta equals 4 thirds. To obtain the tangent of theta over 2, we use the sum of angles formula for tangent. We decompose theta into theta over 2 plus theta over 2. And if we apply the formula, this is what we obtain. For our convenience, let us denote tangent theta over 2 with m. And so we just replace this with m in here and this with m squared. And we also replace this expression with the value of tangent theta, which is 4 thirds. So this is 4 thirds. Now, we just multiply out the denominators so that we obtain this quadratic equation. We rearrange the quadratic equation we obtained from the previous slide. So it becomes like this. Now, we can divide all sides of the equation by 2 to obtain this. It is now easier to factor this expression. We get these factors. This means that m could either be 1 half from this factor or negative 2 from this factor. However, we have stated that m is a positive number and therefore the answer is m equals 1 half.
and the line we are looking for is y equals one half of x. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!